Hello, Bo with a Bang here. Now, back in 2019, I created an auto hotkey script that could be used in order to hide your map from your stream view whenever you were gaming so that stream snipers couldn't easily view your location within the Rust game. I've had a lot of requests to make an instructional video to simplify the instructions on how to use that script. Um, and I had intended to do this back in 2020. However, those of you that are close to me know that in August I ended up having a massive heart attack and set my health back a lot, and I've had a lot of health issues since then. So, this video has been delayed, but now I'm finally getting around to creating the content for it, putting it together, and posting it to YouTube. So, let's go through this step by step, and I really hope this helps you out in using this, the, the, uh, the, the script feature. The link for the script and for auto hotkey are in the description of this video. However, if you go through this video and you're still having issues using the script or getting this to work, please feel free to contact me via Discord. My name on Discord is Bo with a bang, hashtag 0123. Hope you enjoy. Let's go to the GitHub repository and download the code. You can press the green code block and download as a zip file, which will open up later. But for now, let's look at the meat of the code itself and explain what's going on. The script is pretty straightforward. Everything up to line 24 is either informational or boilerplate, meaning lines in the script used to set up the computer for the bottom part of the script. Just for your learning, lines in the script that begin with a semicolon are comments and do not do anything when the script is executed. Line 31 looks to see if the active window is the Rust client meaning this script will only work if the G is pressed while in the Rust client. So if you're trying to get this to work outside of Rust, it's not going to happen. Line 32 looks for the G key to be pressed and intercepts it, preventing Rust from seeing the G input so it can do what we need to do before working with the map. Lines 33 through 35 simulate an F10 press. This is the keybind we'll set in OBS to show the image that will hide the map. Lines 36 through 38 sends a G key press to Rust, displaying the map to you, and then waits for you to release the G key before doing the same for Rust, so the map disappears on your screen. Line 39 simply adds a little delay to make sure the map is gone from your screen before we continue. Lines 40 through 42 simulate an F11 press, which is the key bind in OBS to hide the image that previously had the game capture, and F43 ends the code block, setting it up to look for the next instance that you press G, starting the whole process over again. Let's open up the downloaded zip file and look at its contents. Inside the zip file, you'll see a folder named AHK OBS Control Master. Opening that folder will show seven more files, several images that are reference images to show a example setup of OBS and Rust in their keybinds as well as the readme.md file that is the main page for the GitHub repository, and two other files, show hide OBS source AHK and show hide OBS source EXE. The AHK file is the script that I wrote that we went over earlier. If you're happy with the settings that I have in the script file, I've already compiled it into the EXE version that you just simply need to run in order for the script to work on your computer. Downloading Auto Hotkey to run the script by itself is fairly simple. Just open a browser, go to autohotkey.com, click the download button, and then click the button to download the current version. We're going to go ahead and run it now. This is an upgrade for me. After the upgrade is done, just press the exit button to finish. Now let's configure OBS. In a new scene, add image. I'm going to call this cover map and select an image that you would like to use to cover your map. You can use the provided static image in the GitHub repo if you like. Then add game capture, set it to detect rust. Now in OBS settings, 
go to keybinds, scroll down until you see your new scene, find the show and hide the cover image, set show to F10 and hide to F11. Lastly in OBS, we want to make sure that the map image is above the game capture, but hidden. Now we just need to run the script. I'm going to run the exe now. It's going to ask you to trust this, uh, this application. Go ahead and do that. And you'll see in the bottom left hand corner by the clock, the H symbol for auto hotkey. The script is now running. And here's our end result. Here's a view from OPS of what is being displayed on stream as I'm running around. Every time I press G, the hide the cover map image unhides itself, covering your display. And then when I release G, the gameplay view comes back into focus. Now you can rearrange your sources to add your streamer alerts and whatnot on top of all of this. Add your webcam image on top of all this. As long as the map cover image is above your game capture.